Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. This is PX Mr. Collector and today it's more Barbie. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Peter. How are you? Here in the Barbie world. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I can't sing. However, I can talk about Miss Barbie. Yeah, I gotta tell you, um, you know, I listen to other people's um, 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 videos and, um, and their comments about what's going on, on with Barbie and it's all over the place, right? But is it me or are things changing now that Mattel Creations is in, in the game? Yeah, so I got to tell you, for me as a collector, it's been a plus because I'm liking how Mattel Creations is handling it. Um, for me, especially as a, not, a, not only as a collector, but as a member, because they send me notices of when new stuff is coming out. So I'm able to stay on trend versus finding out what is a little too late. I, um, so I'll give you an example of this. Okay, have you guys seen the new uh, Monster High Beetle, um, Beetlejuice? Oh, cool, smoking. Love, love, love the whole look of it. I love the, you know, those, that type of collection from, from Monster High. I think it's amazing, and the, the fact that they did Beetlejuice just in time for Halloween, awesome. However, like I, uh, Mattel sent me a, a message that, that at this time it was gonna go on sale. So sure enough, I logged in and I was able to get one. But it seems that in a matter of a blink, oh, people were upset. Yeah, because it sold out, it sold out. So if it wasn't for Mattel Creations, I would I would have been one of those people that would have found out too late. And here's the worst part of it all. And I'm really sorry for those of you who didn't get it because it is a nice piece that if you collect Monster High or you know collect collecting dolls that you may want to get this one for your collection. And um, the sad part about it is that the prices, woo, already ridiculous. So, so ridiculous, you know, and I always love the, 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 the person. I'm not sure if they want attention or is it just audacity? <laughs> $1,100. So, what do you think that is? Yeah, you know, I'd say, yeah. Mm, I'm going to lean towards audacity. <laughs> but. If you can get it, good for you. However, right below that was one for 239. 1100, 239, same thing. Mm, I don't know, that, I still find those things a little weird. Um, that's what I'm saying, does somebody want just attention? Because, come on, they're, like, they're gonna be 20,000 people, they're gonna sell it more cheaper than that. And, and so it's the case, so now it seems that the average is around 220 to 300. In a matter of, what, two weeks? Boom! Crazy, crazy, crazy. And the thing about these type of figures that I've noticed, they're not going down. They're not going down. I missed out on, on it. I don't think I'm gonna ever get it because right now it is about around 450 is like the lowest that I've seen. That's a lot when it started out at, I think at like 90, right? So, oh, how much I really want that when I'm like for 450, I could get something else that's 
kill a killer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, right. So yes, I'm the boat on that. However, I gotta say that when you do get the holy grails, I do not call it those holy grails. Yeah, hang on to them because I'm telling you, the market is just crazy, 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 crazy. I cannot believe the another one that um that I also got uh, was the um, the gravy trends, right? From the, from the shiny. I checked this morning. Wow, the lowest price I saw on that was about three twenty five. Right, that mean, yeah, it's a monster high. They're, those that collection to the roof. So yeah, so tomorrow, in my next video, I'm gonna showcase my monster high Beetlejuice. Yeah, I, I haven't really even looked into it because I'm going to say it for the video. So you're going to see my reaction on that. And I'm really, really, really stoked. Um, the one thing that I will say is that I love the artwork on the box. But I wish that they would find a way that, you know, when you open it, it doesn't stay open. It, it's like, Rrr. so for you to, if you want to display them in the box, you have to figure out a way to keep that prop to open without ruining the box. And that's where it's like, eh. So I wish there was a better design on on, on that. Um, the same thing with the Gravy Twins. I open it up and then what happens is that it does it does have a magnet, so it doesn't snap back on um, shut like, it, like it, it should. Where other companies are starting to use the magnets for the closures. Great idea, great idea. So what else is going on? everyone that's right it's mail time use the mail oh, it never fails oh, it makes me want to oh, wag oh, my oh, tail oh, when it comes <laughs> okay so you know i gotta tell you uh, you know i was talking about i got talking about barbie and i am still you know studying the the, the collection there's so much that I have missed out on. There's some, some stuff that I definitely want to get into my collection. But, you know, I got to say, I'm not sure if it's Mattel Creations or what's going on, but they keep throwing, like, new stuff at us. So in trying to stay in, uh, afloat with the new stuff, I'm trying to catch up with some of the old stuff. And it's like, wow. So that's why I'm getting a lot of these Barbies that are, that are coming in. And it is exciting, I got to say. I have no idea about how extensive the world of Barbie is and amazing amazing genius i gotta tell you so last i think like a couple of weeks ago i think i, I showcased um my barbie of little red riding hood right and uh and the wolf and i love that i mean I'm, I'm top 10 for sure and then i saw this and i was like oh you know what like nice little diorama together that may work this is goldilocks and the three bears <laughs> I know, right? So it's a little too cutesy for me. I got, I got to admit. But I think that in a diorama, I can make this work. Yeah, I think there was something really um, um, fairy tale like that. I, I like. So yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. I know, but then at the same time, is the artwork right? Because like this bear, the artwork of that, this bear here, Mama Bear. Um, then um, the. The, the bedroom or the dining room. Is it the dining room? Yeah, the dining room. Right? Yeah. Cute, 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 cute. So, and then last week, I think I also said, you know, not that long ago, that the um, Sweet Orchard Farm collection, I said to myself, you know, that's pretty like. And I had got one figure and I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna get it like another figure just to have a set. And sure enough, in a blink, I couldn't control myself. <laughs> you know how that goes, you know. Yeah. And the, okay, so I had to get this. Yeah, the reason I got it cause I love wagons. Love, 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 love wagons. I have a couple of wagons um, I'm in um, in my home, and I really use them. I think they're really, really cool. So I had a feeling that this is not going to be around for long without the prices going up because it's a unique piece. So I 
freaking love it. And I love the fact that it's a good size so you could actually put some stuff in there. So that could be fun. And I love the little kerchief on her and the little plaid shirt. And then I wish she had some wellies on, but her little farm boots are okay. See, she has wellies on. Yeah, so I had to get it, I had to get it. So see what happens with that collection, right? So then here's another one that I saw that, I'm not sure who it was. I think I want to say, well, maybe Walmart. They had, um, and I haven't seen it in, in um, Amazon. Barbie came out with a, like a space shuttle. And I think I might, might order it today. Um, just so I don't miss out on that boat. But it's pretty cool looking in it. I think it's going to be one of those pieces that no one really has talked about and um, goes under the radar. And the next thing you know, it's in the market worth a lot of money. And people are like, when did that happen? Right? Yeah. So the space shuttle is pretty cool. And it comes with a lot of accessories. I believe it also comes with a doll. But I then thought if I'm going to get that, then I definitely have to get Sally Ride. Yeah, Sally Ride, astronaut, right? Um, from the Inspiring inspiring Women collection. And I really, like, wasn't really thinking of getting her. And then once I saw that space shuttle, then I saw the, I got her for a really good price. I don't know why I sat on this so long, because one thing that I really like about this is that I love it when Barbies look different. Right, and this one with this hair, it totally looks different. I think it is pretty cool, and I think they nailed her look. Yeah, I I love love that. You see, and there is the real Sally Ride. I know, like with a little helmet, and also too. I think I could also incorporate her with my GI Joe NASA uh, NASA collection. And I think that she may be a great addition to that diorama. So really, 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 really think that is awesome. Yay, so I'm glad I got her. And I think I've got like, probably like two more of the Inspiring Women collection, maybe three, um, to complete the, the set. I'm not sure I'm gonna get Susan B. Anthony. Not sure how I could incorporate that into my collection. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna hold on to her and then watch. She's gonna be like, <laughs> can't get her anymore. <laughs> so another thing that's been happening with Barbie that I've noticed and I think you guys noticed now. Okay, first of all, let me commend some of these collectors that you guys are some freaking amazing collections out there. And that somehow, you know, somehow when I look at these collections and these videos, I then see stuff that is out there that I've never seen before. And that's one thing that I really appreciate and I really enjoy. The same way that hopefully I'm showing you something that you haven't seen before, right? And that's one thing that's so great about this whole system and um, how um, we get to help each other out with, with that information. I think it's awesome. So I've noticed that in some of your collection, you guys have like the boxes of like every year that has been reproduced. And those boxes come out like, you know, 1969, 1963, whatever it is, right? But I had no idea there were so many. So, so, so many. So lately, there have been some ones that have been coming out because I've been paying attention. I'm like, okay, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I've got to get that, got to get this. And I had a couple that came in, and I'm so glad that I got them because I could see why people go crazy over these. And I love the way the boxes are set up and had the simplicity, but this is a um, Barbie signature. And this is the doctor. Yeah, you know, he just came out, right? She just came out and um, this comes with an X-ray, a diploma with Barbie's name on it, um, some, a telephone, an old vintage telephone, which I think is great. Um, and a white, a white coat, a towel, a surgical costume and a couple of implements, a stethoscope. And I believe she has like light, really light blonde hair, like really light, almost like platinum. Big blue eyes. Yeah. So that's one look, right? The way with the surgical. 
I ordered the scrubs on. And then on the other side, you can see what she would look like if you were to dress her up with her lab coat on. So I think that is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So I think that if I were to get another one, I would then take it out of the box and then dress her up this way and showcase it that way. So you can see her in both ways. That'd be pretty cool. Just in the thought, just giving you an idea, guys. Yeah, so that is awesome. So that is 1973 Doctor. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm gonna show you what the original looked like. And um, I don't think that it shows it on the box. Yeah, it doesn't show it on the box, what the original looked like. It just, it's a shame, I wish they would've done that. That would've been cool. But I'll see what that looked like um, uh, to see and compare. Um, you know, there's always a big difference in the hair. So we'll see what that looks like. Then the, the other one that I got that I, I, I was, you know, when you order from this side, you order from that side, you got to stay on track because sometimes it becomes a little confusing as to did you like, did I order that or did I not? So I thought that I had ordered this, but then I was like pretty sure that I didn't. So I was going to order it again. And then by the time that I did, it already went up in price. And I was like, well, that's really screwy. And then I saw that I, I was able to find it somewhere else at the original price. And I was like, okay, I'll put it in my basket, but I didn't go back and get it yet. And then yesterday I get it in the mail. <laughs> I love those surprises, but I am so glad that I didn't order it again. Um, Cause this one, I really don't need to have two of. And that is the Malibu Barbie, the original California girl set. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, you guys have seen this around. So I thought that today, celebrating Miss Barbie in California, right, my little California hat, would be a great way to say, celebrate Miss Barbie, look at her. I know, right? That's awesome. I love the middle girl. Yeah, the black girl is beautiful. Oh, so great. And there you have it. So yeah, so that's 1971. 1971 Malibu Barbie. And you know, I gotta say that, that that's pretty cool because okay, so they all have the same sunglasses on the top of their heads. But one thing that I really like is that this one here actually has two you can't really see that actually two pigtails and they, she has them wrapped around in beads and in the 70s especially in the early 70s beads were big time um popular so i think it's great that they they can put that little secret in there and then they each come with a beach towel one is green white and then a yellow one yeah i know right awesome This next doll that I'm going to show you is number two of a series. Number one, woo, <laughs> it stirred up a lot of commotion. Yeah, um, I, I, I sometimes we watch some of the video that people are like um, um, posting and commenting, and then you know when the second one came in, they definitely went back to how they felt about the first one, and they're not going to get the second one. Blah blah blah. blah. I, I don't get it because um, I don't know what you expect. Um, um, you know, these the prices on these dolls and these these collectibles are not getting cheap. Some of the good ones, the prices are going up. It, it's a competitive world out there and it's, it's, it's really interesting. So, you know, the question, you have to ask yourself whether it's worth it or not. And the sad part is that some people, you get a figure and then you don't think that it was worth it, which is not, when that happens, it's never a great thing. And one of the cases has been with the Barbie style doll from the style collection. Um, the first one, you know, the blonde, um, people didn't think she was worth a hundred dollars. They didn't like this, they didn't like that. I mean, the complaints were like nonstop. I myself, I thought it was pretty cool. I love the packaging. I love the whole setup. I love the, the diversity of the looks. You know, just like everything, they're gonna be the things that you don't care for it. that happens with everything everything even stuff that you love you're like ah, but i don't care about this one <laughs> um, but the second one which i wasn't expecting to get this fast and i gotta say 
this is really a great, been an interesting experience, right? I am used to ordering from, let's say, um, Sideshow or some other companies from Japan. Oh my God, just the process to whether it's payments or whether the item is released or whether it's uh, delayed or whether it's customs. I mean, you, you never know how long it's going to be. I literally got a figure the other day um, uh, that I, um, I have to showcase, um, I'll do a video on it. I got to figure that I paid for it back in May, it was a year that I already had paid for it. So a year and a half later, I finally get the figure after it's been paid for. That's crazy. So I've been ordering from Barbie and I thought that they, you know, they were in production and there's gonna be the delay. Next thing I know, it's at my doorstep. So I was not expecting this and I was so happy when it came because I think that she is beautiful. I, love, I really dig the yellow dress. I think that's really cool. The other one, it's all right. You know, I like the, the coat, but the dress, I think it's awesome. And then this is what I was talking about, you know, how they use the magnetic seal. And I think that's a really good idea, but the whole concept is beautiful. Yeah, look how beautiful she is. Right? Yeah, and there, there she's with her little blonde friend. I think that's great that they did that. Yeah, beautiful, great job. So number two, Barbie style number two. Awesome, so, so glad, same packaging, same design. And I believe in total, they're gonna to be four. So I am really, 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 really stoked about that. Yeah, you know, I just wish um, in these type of dolls, you know, that because I know they're concentrating a lot in the, on the African-American um, styles and diversity. But I also wish that we'll bring some of the Latinos, some of the Indian culture, some of the Chinese culture, um, you know, different cultures um, and different looks. Um, and I think that would be really cool if they were to do that. The same thing with Ken, you know, some real diversity, not only just body shapes, right? Okay, so guys, I'm gonna cry. I am. <laughs> Wow, you know, sometimes, um, and you know how this goes, and you finally get something that you've been wanting, and you're numb. <laughs> I, I, like, I'm holding it, I'm like, wow, I can't believe that I actually have one, that I actually own it. I've seen it before, and some of them I've seen better than others, but I was like, wow, I've really dug, dig this, this one. And then when I got it, I love her even more. Is that weird to say? I love her doll. I love her. I love her! <laughs> it's crazy, right? Silkstone. Need I say more? Silkstone! The waitress. Oh, I love the box. I love the fact that the other dolls from the collection are in um, like gold, and then she's in her pink and true color, right? I want to see what she looks like. I, w I mean, I was stunned. So the box itself is not like mint condition. It's in good condition, I gotta say. But she's in mint condition. So. Oh. Here, let, let, me, let me just surprise you right here. Oh. <laughs> Do you see her? Look at that. I love her shoes. And this is a coffee carafe. Oh my God, look at that. She's awesome. Her apron. Right, her slip or lace, her high heel shoes. Oh my God, she's so perfect. Yeah, and then here in the back, it shows you a picture of what she looks like out of the box. Oh yeah. Even better, right? Eh? Awesome. I know, I can't believe it. K 
cannot believe that I own the waitress. I am so, 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 so stoked. Yeah, from Go Label. And the year of this is 2005. Yeah, I love it. I know you're not thinking, okay, 2005, not that long ago. And then I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Crazy that it's already been 16 years. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. So my friends, that was awesome. I know, I know. In the Barbie world. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. So please, don't forget to subscribe. Click on that bell, all right? I talk to you guys later. And get ready, because the next one, there's some more good stuff coming. All right, take care, guys. See ya.